Hey, this is Box with Bunny, and today I have a Sephora and a Ulta haul, and it's actually from multiple shopping trips, but I thought I'd combine them, and um, I have some palettes I'm going to review, but I'm going to do those in a separate video, so yeah, just let me know in the comments if you'd prefer to have it all together, but I thought you'd rather have shorter multiple videos, so anyways, let's get started. Um, first, I'll go over what I got at Ulta, and then afterwards at Sephora. So the first thing I got, and I took the packages off, is the Too Faced um, Pretty Rebel palette. And you've probably seen this one before, but I highly recommend it. I like it a lot. Um, here are the colors. So we have um, Dainty, which is kind of a nice blending color. Um, Charmi Charmino, which is a kind of a dark chocolatey brown. Um, Girly, which is kind of a dual tone, um, greenish, kind of a brown color. Uh, totally Fetch, which is a nice pink color, very bright. Miss Sparkles, which is a black with some glitter in it. And then we have on the bottom, um, this one's R Ringleader, which is a nice skin color, which is um, kind of, it's like a taupe. And then we have um, Gang Gangsta, which is like a brown with a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, Instigator, which is kind of a gold. Badass, which is blue with some shimmer. And then Jailbird, which is kind of a highlight, whitish gray color. So, one of the things I like about this palette is that everything's really creamy. The net weight is, um, for all the colors together, is like 15 grams. So, it's a lot of product for what you pay for. So, yeah, I recommend it. I like it a lot. It's definitely pretty. Um, you can play with it at Sephora or Ulta and see if you like it, give it a try. Um, it is limited to edition, so if you want it, um, go ahead and get it. And so with this one, I got a free gift with purchase, which is was two things. I got the lip face, or Too Faced lip injection, and then also the shadow insurance, which I've heard this one is uh, about the same quality as um, the Urban Decay um, potion and the nice thing about this one versus that one is that you can blend the colors more versus the primer potion as soon as you put pigment on it really stays put which is good but it's also harder to blend so this one's good I'm gonna give it a try so that's those ones and those gifts with purchase are unfortunately sold out right now um, so maybe better luck next time I guess uh, next this is the cargo palette and it's actually going on sale I think either Wednesday or Thursday, but my Ulta had it on sale for $20 already. So even though it says a couple days out, go to Ulta and see if it's ringing up at 20 because that's what mine did. So anyways, the palette, just so you can see, take the little protective cover off. Um, it's very pretty. I like it a lot. It's I think the camera doesn't really do it justice. But it's got Harvest Moon, which is kind of a nice matte color, color cuddle, which has a little bit of shimmer. Frolic, which is this nice brownish color. Cinnamon, which is a goldish um, brown. Twigs, which is a nice blue color. And then um, Black Crow, which is just a matte black. Crisp, which is a nice highlight color here. Hot Cocoa, which is just a nice matte chocolate. Autumn, which is a nice matte kind of a orangey brown color and then withered leaves which is kind of a sparkly shimmery green rustic which is a shimmery brown and then chestnut which is a matte brown so yeah it's a lot of colors I'll swatch this in a different video for you but um, I recommend it it's pretty creamy $20 it's an excellent value and the net weight on this one is actually um, it's 12 times 0.8 grams so that's about um, a little more than 8 grams of product, so about between 9 and 10. So I, I'd say it's a great value for $20. Um, I mean, to give you an idea, this is 15, this is about 9 grams. So for less than half the price, you get similar amount of product. So I'm very happy with this one. I like the quality, very creamy, so I'm pretty happy with it. Because I got that one, I did get, I think, no, I'm sorry, no, no gift with purchase for... Um, the cargo. Next thing I got from Ulta was a mitt. This is one of those tan tanner mitts you put on your hand and then you tan yourself. Um, I think it's supposed to help put on the 
the product uh, exfoliate a little bit and then also not get your hands dirty. So I'm excited to try this. This one's $5. Um, and then I also got a couple, these are kind of like, I, I don't know if I'd say knockoffs because Ulta is a good brand, but they're similar to the Maybelline um, color tattoos. And so this is in the color um, Shimmering Topaz and this one is in bronzed. And so just to kind of give you an idea of what they look like, the Topaz is kind of a champagne colored and the bronzed is kind of a gold. So I'd say this first one, the champagne colored one, it shows up as just like glitter. And then this one definitely has a nice chocolatey brown color. They always come up lighter than what they look like in the um, pot. So what I like about these is they're very, very similar to the Maybelline version. Um, I have noticed when you put your finger on the product and and pick it up to apply it, it does pick up some product versus the Maybelline one, it more like it just smooths on. Um, you don't actually pick it up as much. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, I like these a lot. These were on sale for $4, normally $8. Um, and then I did, I was able to use the 350 coupon, so it ends up being about $3 each, which I think is pretty good. I'm very happy with these. So between the three of these, I did the um, 350 off 10, and so it was a good discount on all of them. So this would end up being like $3.50 and etc. So because I bought three Ulta products, which added up to $12, it doesn't have to be three, but just the $12 part, to get a free um, Ulta tinted lip balm. And there were three other choices. Basically, you could get an eyeshadow, lip balm, or um, eyeliner. And this one's kind of a berry color. I'm sure it'll come up really sheer. So I was excited to try that. And then um, I got... I don't remember which haul is this from, but I think this was a free gift. It's the It's So Big um, Mascara. This might have been from my Sephora one, but honestly, I don't remember. Um, anyways, It's So Big Mascara. I also have that. And then my Paco samples from Ulta. I have the Sebastian Drench Professional Conditioner. Looks like this. The Smashbox Camera Ready Moist or BB Cream. And then the Biolage Shampoo and Conditioner. I already have some of that. It's actually the shampoo I use. Not that particular one, but... And then just some perfume samples. So pretty good, right? Next on to Sephora. I am so excited. I just hit VIP. I should be ashamed, but I've been getting some good stuff. So what I'm probably the most excited for... Or I guess it's a tie. The next one's pretty good too, so just keep watching. Um, this is the Glitz and Glam package. And so... I thought it was a great value. It was $45, which seems like a lot, but this bag is super nice. Like, I don't know if I just spent $45 just for the bag, but I've been known to do such things. It's super soft. The outside does kind of feel like vinyl, but it is a pretty soft, and it has, like, punched out glitter. It's a nice bag. I like it a lot. It's definitely a classier than the normal makeup bags I get. I mean, I would use this to go out. So first inside, we have some Sephora brand um, false eyelashes. Very nice. Um, these are probably pretty much the style I would pick, so it's good. I'm still kind of new to false eyelashes, but what really sold me on the bag was this. This is the Urban Decay in Space Cowboy, and it's just super nice. I know it kind of comes off as just pure glitter when I put it on, but I don't mind. I like glitter, so loving this. They're either, I can't remember if it's $18 or $20. Um, they kind of have two lines of them, but either way, it's still a good value. Next we have the Stila Stay All Day 10 in 1 BB Cream and it's illuminating so it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, I don't know, I can sh swatch it for you right now but I don't know if you've seen it before. It's kind of gotten mixed reviews online. I personally like it and it's pretty close. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'm pretty, pretty far on the light scale but it's a little yellow on me. Uh, I have more pink undertones, so it's not quite right. I'm probably going to use it um, to contour a little bit, or I might just use it on a day I want to feel a little, little yellow. I don't know. It's not bad. It's pretty darn close, but I probably wouldn't purchase it again just because it's not perfect. Next, we have something I'm very excited to find out about. Um, this is the Josie Moran Coconut Watercolor Cheek Glee. And I actually thought this was a lip balm, so I'm like, oh, a cheekly. Interesting. So it smells 
just like it says the watermelon coconut smells amazing um, I mostly smell the coconut I don't know what watermelon really smells like other than water but as you can see it's very buildable so I can swipe a little bit and then I can blend it out um, so I like that. I can either have really pink or a little bit less. I think it's very natural looking. Um, I don't know. I like it a lot. I'm very impressed. I'll be definitely using that a lot. Um, next I have something that I'm also very, oh my nose, very excited about. This is the Nails Ink, which as you know is a London brand. I like them a lot. This is their gel effects. So you're mostly, you do a top coat and it's supposed to make it look like you have gel nails. We'll see how it works. And then next we have a NARS lip um, gloss. I actually already tried this. I'm wearing lipstick now, otherwise I'd swatch it for you on my lips. But basically it, it feels like it's plumping. It's a little bit tingly feeling. Um, and it comes out exactly this color. So I know some lip glosses come out sheer or nothing at all. It has this exact color in the tube. So I like that a lot. It has the brush, um, which I'm not usually a fan of, but I don't really mind it. I like that it's kind of a short stubby one so it applies pretty well and so yeah happy to get that I like NARS and then next I have some Lancome um, Hypnostar Mascara Ultra Glamorous so that's cool I'm not gonna open it because I don't want to have it start growing bacteria but one of these days I'll show you and then I also have the um, Too Faced eyeliner three ways it has three tips on it kind of exciting and I'll go ahead and show you that one just looks like three tips kind of hard to see but yeah it's pretty sweet and then that's it that's what I got in my bag so I'm happy with it I like it a lot um next is probably what you've all been waiting for um I got Sephora nails these are just the nail wraps I have these on my toes right now these are the ones for my hands and then dun 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 yes I did it I bought the vice palette I told myself I didn't want it and then I saw some swatches and I was like oh darn it's so pretty and I have to say it's much prettier in person and even better than the ones in the stores where they're like all gunky which I haven't seen in my stores but um it's gorgeous I have to say so first has kind of a lifted front with like jewelry stuff and then it has a button here which when you push it it opens which is kind of cool so not to shine you with the camera but so basically what we have here is um, there's a nice pink um, kind of a darker pink and then a highlight silvery color and then um, a black and then this one's kind of a I don't know I'll just tell you so there's like smoke out which is kind of a black it's not really matte it's just shimmery Lovesick has actual glitter in it and then I mean I can go through them all I'm gonna actually swatch them in another video for you but it's gorgeous um, the net weight on this one is actually it's 0 0.03 ounces times um, 20 and then it says they're point oh I'm sorry so it's 0.8 grams times 20 which you so it would be 16 grams so um, the price on this one's uh, 59 so it's a little higher, but for Urban Decay, it's actually really good. They're super creamy, super hard to get off. I could not get them off with water. Um, I would use a primer, but you don't need to, honestly. They're pretty much my all-time favorite. Not just these, but Urban Decay is my all-time favorite eyeshadow, so very happy with that brand. I, that's why I keep buying it. Um, anyways, um, let's go on to sam free samples. So these are all the free samples I got. I got the Surf um, Bumble and Brumble Shampoo and Conditioner. I got the Armani Code Perfume or Cologne, I'm not sure. Uh, another one of the Chloe Perfumes. The Anthony Instant Fix Oil Control for Men. That was a surprise for Michael. I got two of the little, um, these are the Sephora Dot Perfume Samples. One of the honey ones from Marc Jacobs. And then I got a couple things I'm kind of disappointed about. These are the Urban Decay and I thought they were the mini lipsticks like the other ones I've been getting. But they're actually like the sample ones. But it's cool because I get four colors. So I get F-Bomb, Naked, Obsessed, and Anarchy. So excited. I'll use a brush and try those. And then I got some really good stuff. So these were special gifts with purchases you could actually pick all three for one code and they're from Dior so you get the Dior um, 
this is their mascara in Xtase or Xtase. I don't know, Xtase. And then this is their Skin Perfect Pore Refining Perfecting Moisturizer. And then this is their perfume in um, Dior Addict. And it looks like this. And um, it's really hard to get off, so if you want to, you just pull it straight up. And so yeah, that's I had two different coupon codes because I had multiple shopping trips, and that's what I got. These each are worth like $10, so it was like a $30 gift with purchase, which is pretty sweet. Um, yeah, I wouldn't pay $30 for them, but it's a free gift. It makes me very excited. So yeah, that's what I got. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe, and put in the comments below. Let me know if you'd rather see swatches as I go in my shopping trips, or if you like them separate like I'm about to do. Thanks so much. Bye.